Hello and welcome to our Citrus TV News Brief. Today is Tuesday, April 4th. I'm Claudia Villafato with today's top stories. The Student Association approved $2 million for funding for the fall 2017 semester yesterday. Requests from student organizations reached almost $3.5 million. The Student Association had just under $3 million to distribute. The University Union received around 30% of that funding and the Finance Board has $50,000 left for appeals. The NCAA lifted its ban on holding championship events in North Carolina today. The North Carolina's government repealed a bill earlier this week that required transgender people to use the public bathroom corresponding with their sex at birth. With that ban lifted, the University of North Carolina's men's basketball team will be able to celebrate their championship at home. Protesters took place outside the Venezuelan embassy in New York City yesterday. Protesters called for dictatorship-like governing to end. In Venezuela, citizens clashed in the nation's capital over socialist President Nicolas Maduro. This past week, the Supreme Court stripped most of Congress's power. In addition, many citizens are frustrated with the major recession in recent years. And as we take a look at our quad cam, those April showers are certainly living up to their name. Temperatures reached the low 60s, but we saw showers on and off throughout the day. Stay tuned for News Live at 6. Galat Malamed will let you know when you'll need your umbrella this week. Thank you for watching today's Citrus TV News Brief. Stay tuned for News Live at 6 with Nick Papantonis and Jackie Frager. Have a wonderful night, Syracuse.